Prior to staying at this hotel, I think it was a place I would have told you to avoid. But now that I've seen the room, stayed in the room, if what you're looking for is a decent room, a clean room, at a reasonable price, I think Luxor might just be the place for you. I checked in from the MGM Resorts app and I've had a little bit of trouble with these digital keys in the past. It's 1.30 in the afternoon. They say my room is already ready. I've got a room number, so I'm going to go upstairs and find out whether the digital key actually works. So in case you couldn't tell, I'm here at Luxor, first time ever staying at this property. Luxor's got that reputation as a bottom tier MGM property, but I'm here to stay for the next three nights and I'm going to find out what this property has to offer. Not bad. Flying solo, I think I can stay in this room. Smells a little bit musty, but otherwise it's extremely clean and I'm perfectly happy with it. So right off the top, the first thing I don't like about the pyramid is the elevator situation or the inclinators. They're in the corners of the building, but of course they only service certain floors. So for instance, my room is here, but my elevator is all the way over there in that corner. I've already stepped it off. It's 205 paces to the elevator. I take big strides. That's about 600 yards. So I'll get plenty of exercise on this trip. Right now, let's go downstairs. I'm gonna show you what there is to eat, see, and do at Luxor. One thing that's crazy about this place, you could be in the pyramid, but imagine if you were on the first floor and this was your room right here, or that. That seems terribly insecure, you really would not like to be there.
All right, good morning, guys. It's Wednesday morning. I've been in this room for two nights, and I just about can't handle it anymore. It's smoldering hot in this room. This thing kicks on and off and on and off. Sometimes it blows cold air, sometimes it blows hot air. It's gonna be 90 degrees outside today and the sun is beating in through the windows. The thermostat has a motion sensor on it. So of course, when you go to sleep, you're not gonna move for a while and it's gonna kick off. So I wake up two or three times a night and it's like 80 degrees in the room. I can't handle it anymore. I have called downstairs. Hopefully engineering's gonna come up here and get that fixed because otherwise I would like the room. So hopefully they do that while I'm gone to the buffet today. I'm gonna head out, so I'll check you guys later. So I totally just came off the elevator and went the complete wrong way to get to the pool here at Luxor. But you know what's most embarrassing about that is, on the channel I did a complete walkthrough tour of, of Luxor and I, uh, I told people the wrong way to get to the pool. Theoretically, there were 2,011 people in this pool right here. Well, I can tell you, without a doubt, I would not be one of them. so I've had three nights in this Pyramid Premier King room here at Luxor so let's talk a little bit about the room. I mentioned when I first came in the room is huge it's a really nice size it's very comfortable in that respect you've got two nice chairs over here the bed was very comfortable I slept pretty well once I got the air conditioning situation taken care of. I mentioned that uh, I hadn't called downstairs and I wish I had done that sooner because when I called and explained about the thermostat, they came upstairs, took care of it while I was out. Yesterday I came in, it ran constantly and kept the room cool and didn't kick on and off or do any of that weird stuff. So if you have anything wrong with your room, you're paying for the room, don't feel bad calling and getting what you paid for because they took care of it right away. I just wish I'd done it sooner. The room itself is nice enough. It's very comfortable, very clean. If you are trying to decide between this hotel and Excalibur next door from a room standpoint, I can tell you this being the most basic room at Luxor, this room is far nicer than the most basic room over there at Excalibur. We've got a video tour of one of those Excalibur rooms on the channel, so you can go check that out to compare if you'd like. But this room is far nicer at roughly the same price point. I know this, this hotel's a little bit more expensive from a room standpoint alone, I would choose this hotel. Other things around the property, they've got a great pool. Uh, I went down there on a Wednesday afternoon and it was more of a chill, laid back vibe. There was music playing, it was pretty busy, but it was a really chill vibe. I have a feeling that on the weekends it's more of a party vibe, but the pool area is really big. It's full sunshine all the time, great place to hang out, catch some rays. From a dining perspective, you don't have anything very high end here. Tender is going to be the most expensive restaurant on the property, but you've got a lot of mid-range and low tier dining options. There's a food court for cheap eats. You're right next door to Mandalay Bay. If you want nicer restaurants, you can just walk right through the shops at Mandalay Bay and go over there and hit some of the nicer restaurants they've got. You can also go right next door to Excalibur, go to Dick's Last Resort, or any of the cheaper options they've got over there. So location-wise, yes, this is all the way down at the end of the strip, 
but you have two neighboring properties that are both MGM resorts and both have a lot to offer and you can go easily between these three properties. Now, to get to the middle of the strip, yeah, it's a long walk. I did it a few times. I've done it before, but staying here really drives home how long of a walk it is to get to mid-strip. So from that standpoint, the location's not ideal, but there's also a deuce stop out front. Rideshare was working smoothly and, and cheaply this time around, so, so I wouldn't concern yourself too much with that unless you just really want to be in the heart of the action at the middle of the strip. In that case, you're probably not considering this hotel at all anyway. Anyway, that's it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully this helped you decide whether Luxor is right for you. If you did enjoy it, please do hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below. What do you think about Luxor? Also, subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss anything. There's always more for us to show you on Show Me Vegas. All right, I'm back because it just dawned on me, I don't think I ever even said whether or not I enjoyed my stay here. And the answer is, yeah, I did enjoy my stay here. Prior to staying at this hotel, I think it was a place I would have told you to avoid. But now that I've seen the room, stayed in the room, if what you're looking for is a decent room, a clean room at a reasonable price, I think Luxor might just be the place for you.